the Rockets have changed some people's minds. There's been sort of an evolution where at first the Warriors, they were untouchable. Then, hey, the Rockets might be able to play with this team. And then some people think the Rockets are the better team right now. Where do you stand on Rockets v. Warriors? Well, I think that the, the, the Houston Rockets are a sensational team led by a sensational player in James Harden. Uh, but having said all of that, I don't think that they're, they're better than the Golden State Warriors, the reigning defending champions. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to get a bit suspicious about all these injuries that the Warriors are having. Uh, you know, Steph Curry goes down, then Kevin Durant goes down, and then, or rather, Klay Thompson goes down, then Kevin Durant goes down. Now Draymond Green goes down. You know, I just smell rest in the air. I smell conserving our bodies to make sure that we're ready. And that in and of itself can be easily be argued as a testament to the greatness that we're seeing from the Houston Rockets because if you're the Golden State Warriors, you recognize that while you can beat this team, you're going to have to bring your A game in order to do it because it's not just James Harden. It's the leadership of Chris Paul combined with his they're shooting particularly from three-point range. And then the Eric Gordons and Trevor Reeses of the world and Clint Capellas of the world have been making tremendous contributions, not to mention the fact that they've improved exponentially on the defensive side of the ball. So definitely the Houston Rockets are formidable. They are a star-studded team. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to discuss. The MVP race is over. It should be handed to James Harden today. Okay, there's nothing to talk about there. But just because you're the league MVP does not mean that you're better than the reigning defending NBA champions with one of the top three players on the planet in Kevin Durant, the greatest shooter we have ever seen in our lives, and Steph Curry, and one of the top five shooters of all time as a third wheel in Klay Thompson. I'm sorry. When you beat them, come call me. Until that time, I'm not sold. Okay, let's let's take the uh, – you, you talked about the theory that maybe the Warriors are arresting their players. These aren't real injuries, perhaps. Well, they, 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 I'm not trying to imply that they didn't get hurt. I'm just saying I kind of <sighs> think that, you know what, they could come back if there was urgency there. Right. But they're comfortable right now. They There's have no the luxury. They, That's they, what they I mean. They can rest exactly. these guys. Okay, but Steve Kerr said his guys were mentally fried before the break. What about the hunger factor here, Stephen A? This team has made three straight trips to the finals. They've been there, done that. The Rockets have not. Does that factor into this as far as the stretch run? No, uh, no as, as far as the stretch drive, yes. Uh, forget not it. The, the how about the postseason? No, 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 not the postseason. No, it has no effect on that because you got to remember, they're playing for the postseason. It's the regular season that's hard for them because it's relatively meaningless. So you're, find a, you're trying to find different games and things of that nature. When I talked with Steve Kerr along with, you know, management like Bob Myers and those guys a few weeks ago when I saw them in New York and then in Washington, okay, these are guys that Steve Kerr acknowledged. Look, we're looking to be motivated. You know, you tried new different things because – over an 82-game stretch, not just collectively as a team, but as individuals, they have this belief and this innate confidence that they can step up at any given moment and just handle their business and take over. They're that skilled, they're that, comp they're that confident, and they're that accomplished. So during the regular season, it's relatively meaningless to them because they know they're going to be one of the top two seeds, and they know that ultimately they're going to be judged by what transpires in April, May, and June. Once that arrives and you're playing for something significant, Significant. This is the moment that they've been waiting for all year long. So the priority is to make sure that, A, they're rested, and, two, they're as close to 100% healthy as they possibly can be. If they are healthy and fresh in their minds, they don't believe anybody can beat them. And last time I checked, they're right.